Hello, hello, and welcome to another update video about Polkadot. Um, yeah, on the dot chart, the price is still moving in what you could consider a bit of a bullish flag. At least we rallied quite substantially between the end of October, it was the 19th of October roughly, and the high that was put in here around the 13th, 14th of November. The price did rally round about 60, 65%. Which is good average, I would say, you know, it's not as much as some others, but it certainly um, did perform quite nicely. Since then, um, since this top, and we did say we can count five waves to the upside in, to be honest, a little bit of a questionable diagonal structure. So not an impulse, but still in a diagonal, we can do that. And um, this certainly allows now for a corrective pullback. So we have a corrective pullback that we're tracking as a WXY structure. I mean, you know, we can just we can debate. Okay, you know, should the, should the wave W be here? Uh, should the X wave be here? But then, does it make a difference? Not really. Okay, then you've got the problem. Okay, this is a three wave move A. Does that mean we get a high B wave? All sorts of things. Um, the the point is, we are probably in a correction. It's good to see that the move down is corrective. That's really good to see because if the move down is corrective, it indicates, yeah, you know, it could be really this wave too. What always remains a challenge is to identify where exactly this wave two will end. And um, that, that's always a challenge. So there are different, there are so many different patterns that could unfold in a correction. So I would always encourage people not to really try to predict exactly where, um, especially if we have a choppy structure like that, it's not entirely clear. We just have too many ups and downs here. Uh, it's not a very clear like ABC or something. So we have to consider here WXY, which is a little bit more of a complex correction. Ideally, I always like to see a wave two reach the 50% retracement. That's at $4.58. Doesn't seem that DOT has done that yet. So DOT only touched the 38.2 FIB level. So what I, you know, to, to simplify things, we could even say, look, we could even say that's an, that's some kind of a, that was the A wave. Uh, this is a B wave and this is a C wave. So we have a larger A. We're now doing a B and then we still come down and C. That would simplify it. Um, but yeah, you know, it just means that we still need to be on the lookout for corrective rallies until we really break above this wave one high, which is at $5.90. Um, especially, especially because the pullback so far it has been very weak, it has been very corrective, but weak, you know, especially weak. So what we normally like to see is at least, as I said, a move down to the 50% FIP level, in this case, 458. That's also where we have the previous wave four low. Oftentimes a wave two does a pullback to the region of a previous wave four low. So that's again, pointing to 458 and then 430 should also be strong support, good support its previous structural support, as well as resistance, resistance and support. So um, m at the moment I have no evidence, especially the last rally was three waves. So um, I have no evidence that the low is in, it can be in, I always have to say that at this stage, it would be a shallow wave too. But remember that this wave too was also quite shallow. It only touched the 38.2 retracement. So all I can do is to point out the relevant levels for a wave two. They start at the 38.2 FIB level, more ideally around the 50% and 61.8 FIB levels. A deep one would be the 78.6. You can't necessarily predict where they land in advance. So I always suggest a, a strategy of potentially scaling in. Um, but there are many ways how to trade this. But yeah, so um, at the moment, I haven't got any impulse to the upside. So at the moment, I would still prefer potentially lower into the support area, um, but a break above the wave one high at $5.90 roughly would already confirm that we are in the third wave, breakout to $8 plus. That's my update about DOT. I hope you will like the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, then please check out the channel membership. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.